think it will surprise you when I say that today is not the day when we celebrate the birth of Christ. Today is not the day when we celebrate the birth of Christ. That took place 2,000 years ago. We remember it. But that's not our main focus. Think about your birthday. When you celebrate your birthday, you remember the day of your birth. What do you celebrate? You celebrate how old you are at that point, that stage in life. So we're here today to remember the birth of Jesus 2,000 years ago. But we are also celebrating how much we are willing to be a part of his rebirth. Our problem as Christians is that we pray and we expect God to do it. We expect Jesus to come again and make everything right. And as you know, his story as well as I, he called disciples around him, formed them to carry on the message. That's our challenge. But how much are we willing to, to be a part of that? That's the challenge. Now we're all born with certain personalities. We're also born by the experiences of our life that form us and our opinions and the way we look at life. Some of it we inherit, but we can always control it and we can reshape it if we wish. Not easy, but it's possible. Reminds me of the story of the twin boys. One was an optimist, one was a pessimist. And you know the difference. The pessimist, you know, looked at everything from a negative point of view. Christmas time, they gave the pessimist a toy. He wouldn't play with it. He said, well, if I play with it, if I break it, then I'll be sad. Or maybe if I play with it, with it, it won't give me the joy that I want. Well, of course, the optimist took the toy and had a great time. So they were trying to figure out how to change the optimistic boy's frame of mind. So on his birthday, they gave him a load of horse manure, dumped it on the front lawn. Oh, he was delighted. He got a pitchfork and he was going through it and they said, what's, what's up? And he said, with all of this horse manure, there's got to be a pony here somewhere. <laughs> Oh, 
we fit into society. You know, so much of what we do, what will the neighbors think, what will the neighbors say? Our desire for bigger and better homes and cars and clothes and TV. How much are we willing to sacrifice, gamble, to take on more and more of the discipleship of the Lord Jesus, to be reborn in the Lord? Now, there probably are more. I can't reach any higher. And if I haven't hit something that you should think about, you can have. How much are we willing to gamble so that we can be reborn as the presence of Christ today? The answer to our prayers is not in the Lord, it's in us. Thank you. 